So today we are playing on the CCG Tanoa Wasteland server. And what we're going to talk about today is maps, future maps for Daisy standalone. Now that we're going to continue this series, let's talk. I thought, you know, a couple of people have said this is a really good idea. You should do this. So we're going to do this. And we're going to start off today with maps, of course, and mainly Tanoa. As we are playing on the CCG Tanoa Wasteland server for Armor 3, I love Tanoa. I love Wasteland. So why not talk about Tanoa becoming potentially a future map for Daisy Standalone? What do we think about it? Now, let's get into the nitty gritty here. Will Bohemia do it themselves in the future? Will it be a port as it's owned by Bohemia and Daisy's owned by Bohemia? Will it be something they could do themselves? You know, I don't even care if it had no changes. Did it, you know, make it to look more apocalyptic? I don't give a shit. Just, just make it, make it a thing. Make it so. And I shall love thee. Or the community doing it. Either way, you know, is it a possibility? Can we, are we allowed to do it when the time comes? When modding is available and porting of maps is, is a thing? W will it, will it be a thing? Also, I want to talk about other maps, not just Tanoa. We know Namowsk is being made by the man himself, the original creator of Namowsk for Daisy Standalone, and it will most likely be the first map uh, outside of Generous Plus for Daisy Standalone. And I'm really looking forward to that. It was always one of my favorites for Armor 2 Daisy mod and Armor 2 in general. But, uh, you know, our main focus today being Tanoa. When, when, when can we get Tanoa? Can we get Tanoa? Is it a thing? Is it something you, all you guys want for Daisy Standalone? A completely different setting, a completely different look to the survival genre in Daisy Standalone. Look at this foliage. Ghillie suits, survival, bases for Daisy Standalone, all on Tanoa. Now, if we take a look at the map, we stop our car here. We have some islands off the mainland. We are, I believe, on the mainland just up here. But we have all of these islands. All of these islands. When Daisy has boats, planes, helicopters, why not Why not gather your gear, gather your guys, your friends, your fellow survivors, and fly out to one of these little remote islands to build your base, your civilization, your s salvation. Take all of your food and hydration with you. Mmm, sustenance. Make it so. This is something... We, we, we gotta have Tanoa for Daisy Standalone. It's a beautiful map. I think the Armor 3 team, the map team, creation team for Tanoa have done a wonderful, amazing job. Uh, it impresses me every time I play. Even when I die, I don't care. I laugh when I cry and I die. And I can't even speak. It's that good. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have played it. Apex is well worth the money. The Apex DLC just for the map, let alone the weapons and everything else, the vehicles. Oh my god, Tanoa is a beautiful map. We're going to take a look up into the jungle up here, the foliage, the the rainforest, the the wonderful overgrowth that we have up here. Oh, I can just see, you know, squads of survivors up here hunting the possible animals in uh, that could be placed in from day Z. Bases that you could see. Tents. Tents are going to be so hard to spot in this foliage. Imagine the military tents up in the woods up there. And, uh, you know, I, I've explored Tanoa quite a bit. Uh, you know, just just by myself, just going in, in the editor, spawning myself in and having a look around. There are some really nice places for bases. And we got these rickety old wooden bridges here that you could be going under, you could hide under, cause ambushes in DayZ. You know, it's done in Armour 3, why not do it in, in DayZ? And the main focus, obviously, of the Let's Talk series, and this being the first one kicking off with DayZ, we're going to keep it to DayZ and other survival games also, and uh, today being the maps. It's all about talking. Let's talk. So put those in the comments below. What do you think? Do you want Tanoa for DayZ? Do you want other maps? What are your most look forward to maps that could be possibly ported over to DayZ in the future? Be it the mouse, which we know is already being done by the original creator. Cannot wait for that. Taviana, which I hear maybe not be making any moves out whatsoever, if uh, the words are correct that the developer doesn't want anybody to touch it. Or any other maps. What's the one beginning with P that's very similar to this? Like a rainforesty, jungly setting. Begins with a P. Pana, Panapupu? Panam. Panam. Manju? I can't remember what it is. I always forget. But, uh, you know, th those maps, they're all good. There's a lot of good maps out there. But Tanoa. The detail! The detail! Bring it! Imagine this in the standalone. You're just going through the forest. Pack of wolves coming in 6 1. One of the milestone goals. They're running through this at you. Can't see shit. Where are they? They're howling. Don't know. Survivors coming up that road on a on an off-road. Hatchback. Or a sedan. Or a V3S just slowly creeping up that hill and you're like, oh god. <sighs> Must stay hidden. Let's see if I can steal their vehicle. And then you make a move. Look at this foliage. The base is down there. 
Look, you ain't seeing no military tent down in this sweaty crevice of, of jungle here. Go down here, no doubt there'll be a flat that you could place a little tent down. Storage. Hide something down. Look, look, down here, look. Look at this. Perfect place for a little tent right down here. And 99% of people aren't going to spot down here. So much coverage. So much overgrowth in the jungle. So obviously the point of this series is we're going to look at future, current and past development of Daisy and possibly other survival games and let's talk about it. Let's just talk about it and just look at it. Just look about, look about, look about and take it all in. What do you think? Would you love this for Daisy Standalone in the future? What would you like us to talk about in the next episode of Let's Talk? Could be anything, another survival game or Daisy Standalone, another feature, animations, survival aspects, drinking, hydration, broken bones. Mines, that's a thing that's brought up quite often, is mines. Are they too much? Should they even be in standalone? It's all these things that we could talk about, make a single subject each Let's Talk, make it a little bit easier on ourselves, and then move on to the next thing after that. I'll always get that feedback from you guys in the comments, the next subject being from you, so whatever's the most talked about in the comments below. Oh, talk, let's talk about mines next time. Uh, if there's like more than more mines than anything else, we'll talk about mines and vice versa, etc, etc. So let me know in the comments below, let's talk about all of this stuff that we're talking about today. Well, maps, and uh, what you want in the next Let's Talks video regarding DayZ or any other survival game. You know, I, I really want to do uh, Tarkov. Let's talk Tarkov. That may be a future video as well. What I think of Tarkov, what you guys think of Tarkov. We'll make that something in the future as well. We'll make a series of this and get everybody involved, get everybody talking in the comments. Try to keep it civil though. You know, it's everybody's fair game for their opinion, but, uh, you know, don't go attacking people and making things awkward. It's uh, Nobody ever likes that. Nobody likes it. But uh, p opinions are opinions. Everything, you know, say say what you want to say. And there'll be convers conversations to be had. Righty then. Also, remember to leave a like, as it really helps the channel a lot. I'm going to jump in my off-road here and just ponder the possibilities of Tanoa in Daisy Standalone. Oh, this jungle. Mm. And I'll see you peeps next time. Oh, yeah.